fact that these insurance companies are up in arms because they are not doing it uh, the way they, they told Medicare, the way they told the government they were going to. Mm -hmm. And so now they're up in arms because they want more than their fair share. Well, I just think everybody should be made aware, and this is, this is not a bipartisan thing. This is for everybody that we're trying to scare. I, I just... I hate advertisements that are such blatant lies that, you know, if you're going to put on an ad, for God's sake, try not to tell blatant lies, because right. it's easily looked up, and it's easily checked. If you read, I've not read the whole bill, but I've skimmed a lot of it, as it is proposed at this point. Of course, if there's going to be changes in it, I understand, but could just, just covers everything. You know, I just, I, I just I'm just so alarmed. Nope, just and so many people my age, I'll talk to them and they, they say, well, this is going to mean, they believe it. They do. And it just, so you need to go and get good information. There should be a law against this. They, they <laughs> should be prosecuted for this. I guess all's fair in love and war and advertising, so. No, that's, unfortunately, that <laughs> yes. But okay. if you want good information, yeah. you can always call Office for the Aging, and we will direct you, people to good information about health care reform. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're Thanks doing for a great, calling. Great and job. you know, you said you used our services, yes, and you I know, did. the state is talking about cross the board cuts. And I would really appreciate it if you can send us a letter about how our Office for the Aging Services have helped you. They more than just helped me. I was so confused reading that booklet you get from that, not booklet, it's like a book that you get from Medicaid, and all that, I just got so confused. I, I, and I, you know, I don't consider myself stupid, but I just got no, oh, they, they confuse completely you. Completely confused. I got you mine know, too. And, and that whole insanity. that whole health insurance uh, counseling program, they thought they would be able to do it with volunteers. It's too complicated. There are changes every day. Our staff spends a lot of hours uh, keeping up on all the latest changes, all the latest scams that are going on, to help direct uh, seniors to the best care for them. Because quite often there are changes, and then I have to call my insurance company and say, would you please explain this to me? Because I really don't get half of what they're telling me and yeah, the reasons and, and for the hell of it is, is But you, you guys do such a wonderful job. I'd be most happy to write a letter because, for me, you were lifesavers. This is your well, mother. thank you. I, no, it's yeah, not. Your mother. You know, and, and I want to point out something to you. You were talking about seniors being, actually seniors make up about 20% of Chautauqua County, mm -hmm. age 60 and older. Right. But do you know that two-thirds of the voting public are seniors? Two-thirds. That's why they hook I was up. given that statistic by right. the State Office for the Aging yeah, Director. That's why the politicians so you, with them every year. You have a powerful voice, and we as and you need to use it to uh, tell absolutely. the but government the is, what you, you want. Absolutely, but when you talk to people about it, and they've seen these things on TV, they say, oh, but if we do, we could lose this, we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Vote against anybody in the Congress who votes against the new health care well, changes, believe me. I'm planning on that. They should be ejected immediately because they're a bunch of crooks. Uh, they're all on the take. You know, do you know how much money the health care industry is paying these people that are uh, voicing opposition to a uh, health care reform? you know how much money? You're millions. talking millions of dollars. Billions. Billions. Why, yeah. Okay, thank you, caller. Uh, we have another call. Good morning, caller. Thank you. Hello there, caller. Well, I guess Mort lost him. Mort, you can't figure out how to do the phones yet. It's only 15 years he's been working on it. <laughs> Marianne Spanos doing the job here in the, as the director of our office agent in Chautauqua County. Talking about, you just had some comments about the war. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to mention, I, I just wanted to thank everybody for their prayers. As you know, I have a, a son who's in the Marine Corps. And uh, he's stationed at Camp Lejeune and was supposed to be deployed to Afghanistan uh, this last week. And... Uh, you know, we've been praying very strongly for him, and uh, they keep delaying him, and I'm not really sure why that is, but I keep telling people, keep the prayers up, it's working. He isn't going to Afghanistan yet, so. The Greek gods are, uh, are watching <laughs> over him, huh? The Somebody Thor, is Thor or <laughs> watching is. over him. Okay, I think we got that caller back. Are you back, caller? Hello there. Yep, I'm here. Well, good morning. What's up? Well, hi, 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 hi. Well, hi. <laughs> it's your... 
birthday. Uh, <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Has the fuel assistance heap increased due to inflation? Yeah, how about that? They're giving them more yeah. money. I mean, they haven't changed it for, for 20 years that I know of. Same amount of money. Uh, I, it's almost, I, I don't know the amount. I know there's more money in heat, no, but I, I'm I not really. $50 dollars is oh, average. Oh, no, no. For private homeowners, it uh -huh. uh, can be like $400. In rare, rare cases. Though. No, that's no, that's really? the usual. Oh, really? uh, the only one that gets like a 40 or $50 benefit are renters. I see. Uh -huh. uh, because, you know, they're not. They're not good, I know. They're well, <laughs> a lot of people have uh, fuel included in the cost of their rent. Right, well, they wouldn't get the So, benefit. but for a regular heat benefit, it can be up to like four, almost $500. And you have to have an income, though, under 2000 a year, don't you, or something like that? Uh, no, it, uh, I think it's a monthly cost, and I don't have, uh -huh. th that you know, changes every, yeah. every year, too. Oh, like all this stuff, so all if, changes, yeah. I tell everybody, if you're ha struggling with your heating bills, apply. It doesn't hurt you to apply for heat. Mm -hmm. And there are different income levels depending on if you're applying for regular heat, which um, is the one-time benefit that gets paid to your fuel pr provider. But if you are out of fuel and you're in threat of shutoff, the income levels are actually higher. So if you are, have gotten a, a notice that you're going to be shut off, you might be eligible where you wouldn't be eligible for regular heat. The other thing is that if your furnace breaks down in the middle of winter and you don't have money to repair it or replace it, there is also an emergency benefit with higher income levels that could help you repair or replace your furnace. So um, it doesn't hurt to ask. Absolutely. We have specialists at Office for the Aging that help all the people over 60 um, and that you can call uh, if you're calling from the Dunkirk Fredonia area it's 363-4471 um, you can call our Dunkirk office at oh we just changed 363 our, whatever 363 3850 Something like that. You call <laughs> I'm calls sorry. 753. Right. 7741 or, or whatever it is. 4471. 4471. Okay. So there call you. the main office. We'll get you to the uh, right or place. Or just you call the police. They'll direct you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're running out of fuel, and remember, you do get a be extra, you get an extra little break if it's an emergency, right? So right. you don't call until they've given you the notice that you're going to be shut off. Don't call earlier, you know. Well, no, you should you should apply for regular heap um, oh, yeah. because they have expanded that. In fact, we just got a notice from the uh -huh. federal government. It is a federal program that they are putting more money into heap. So, um, and we get almost three three thousand five hundred people um, over sixty that we help with okay. heap every year. I think our caller's back, maybe, but we'll okay. have to be real quick. Good morning, Great. caller. Another caller. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's going on here? I have no idea. Do you want to talk about our dining out program? I wanted to talk about your comment on the war. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a son who's getting over this. I got to be a little more careful by what I say. He's about a marine. A He's a corporal situation. in the Marine Corps. He is. What's he, what's he do? What's he do? Oh, he, do? he is with an IED disposal unit. Whatever that means. He's got to pick up these awful bombs. He's a bomb, bomb disposal. Oh unit. my God. <laughs> God, actually, you? he is the support for the bomb disposal unit. He doesn't actually do the bomb disposal, he but he mans their radios. Does the paperwork? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> drives them. Well, he drives them <laughs> out and does bad. security for he them. He may find his own bomb there. So, Another caller coming in. You want to try to take it? Sure. Ah, uh, morning, caller. I, I can't believe it. You don't look. You don't look eighty-five years old. Eighty. I, you, miss, you, you know, your hearing is so bad. I know this guy. He's almost ninety. And this that old Spalding says, "Yeah, he cannot hear very well." It's seventy, Mr. Spalding. He lies about his age, and he lies about mine. Seventy. <laughs> lies about yours. You know, he can almost get in free in Chautauqua. You get in very free when you're. He 90. lives in Chautauqua. That's right. But you know, during the summer, during the summer, believe it or not, he has to pay and for the, the gate free, pass. I already have the freebie. Uh, listen, uh, Linda wanted me to call. She had an appointment this morning, and she wanted me to apologize to Mary Ann. Uh -huh. No problem. For not being able to be on the, on the show and and, uh -huh. and tell her the wonderful work she's she doing. Deer for hunting or whatever. She, she's a very active sportswoman. I know. She's that. happy. So she comes home with a big smile on her face every day. But she's oh, not. I'm glad. She's <laughs> such a, a joy to work with, and uh, she probably wants to tell you tell have you tell about uh, the new program she's doing. 
He said something about computers. 